Hi, I'm Bob with Wolf Ridge. Right now I want to go over the similarities and the differences between the Wolf Ridge 28 Pro and 28C compact commercial log splitters. For this video we'll start out with the similarities between these two machines. Over on the left side we have the Wolf Ridge 28 Pro and over on the right side we have the 28C compact commercial. If you look at these two units right now you can see that the frame is identical but the longer you look at this you can see some of the key differences. Both of these machines feature a heavy duty, commercially built, welded fabricated frame. This is welded in-house, this is not a standard I-beam. This is 28 Pro, here's the 28C. You can see that they've got the same wheels and tires, the same wedge, the same uh, drawbar, the same hydraulic log lift. They both have hydraulic wedge height adjustment and they both have 28 tons of splitting force. Both the 28 Pro and the 28C, just like the rest of our splitters, are using the bronze self-lube slides on the push block. Both machines have Honda engines, different sizes. Both the 28 Pro and the 28C feature the same drawbar system. So that pin pulls out, this drawbar will slide into the frame and you can pin it in a work position so that the drawbar is out of the way when you're splitting wood. And on the back side, you also have a drop leg. And back on the front side, you can see that we have the drop leg jack here. So what you can do is put that drop leg on the back of the splitter on the ground first, and then jack that up, get the machine level and stabilized. Both the 28 Pro and the 28C have these welded loops on the frame for strapping. The 28 Pro and the 28C both include the four-way wedge, which is hydraulically adjustable up and down. This wedge height is the same on both the 28 Pro and the 28C, and this is the same piece as well. Both the 28 Pro and the 28C have return style cartridge oil filters. Now the difference is 28 Pro's got a smaller hydraulic oil tank. So this here is your hydraulic oil fill as well as where the cartridge oil filter is. And on the 28C, we'll go over there now. And you can see here we've got the fill cap and there we've got the cartridge style filter. Both of these machines still have a sight glass with um, level and temperature on it for the hydraulic oil. And that's about where we stop with the similarities. Now what I'm going to do is go from the 28 Pro to the 28C and we will talk about each specific upgrade as we go back and forth. We'll start with the power plant first here. So looking at the 28 Pro, we've got a Honda GX270 single cylinder engine. Standard with pull start, there is an option for electric start on the 28 Pro. But as you can see, this is a standard 28 Pro, so it does not have electric start. And moving over to the 28C, we have a bigger engine. We have a Honda GX390, 13 horse instead of the nine horse. And you can see that there's a battery for electric start. Electric start is standard on the 28C where it's an option on the 28 Pro. Backside of the engine, we are on the 28C right now, 22 gallon per minute hydraulic oil pump with that 13 horse engine. And when we go back to the 28 Pro, we've got a 16 gallon per minute pump with the nine horse engine. Now, both the 28 Pro and the 28C are 28 tons. They both have a 24 inch stroke, but they have different speeds because of the different engine size, the different pump size, and the cylinder on the 28C is the Magnum Big Bore cylinder. So on the 28 Pro, we're looking at a cycle time of between 10 and 10 and a half seconds. And on the 28C, we're looking at a cycle time of about six to six and a half seconds. For comparison's sake, you can see here on the 28 Pro, the cylinder and the bore size. And the cylinder and the bore size 
on the 28C. This would be called the Magnum package on the 28C and it's standard equipment and you cannot get it on the 28 Pro. With that Magnum package, you get the big bore cylinder, which has a very fast return time and you have the taller push block. And I'll measure those both in a moment here. Let's take a look at the push block on the 28 Pro. You can see push block height here is about eight inches. Now we'll do the same thing on the 28C. See, 28C is about 12 inches tall. Give you another view of the machines here. You can see, looking at the ends, the 28 Pro is right here, the smaller push block, and we just have the three control levers here. Look at the 28C there, it's got the tall push block and the four control levers. Now the reason is the 28 Pro does not come standard with AutoCycle, but the 28C does come standard with AutoCycle. 28 Pro still has auto return, and you can get it with the optional auto cycle, but standard, it does not have auto cycle. We looked at the hydraulic tanks briefly in the beginning of this video, but you can see on the 28 Pro, the size of the tank in comparison with the tank size on the 28C. There's a lot more capacity on the 28C with that bigger engine, bigger pump, and faster cycle time. Got a little bit extra oil capacity to keep things cool. You can as well add a hydraulic oil cooler to the 28C but you cannot to a 28 Pro. The charging system on the 28 Pro will not power a fan or lights. And I should be clear on that. The, the charging system only comes with the electric start version of the 28 Pro. So the standard 28 Pro or the electric start 28 Pro cannot power any electric accessories. Whereas 28C, you can add the hydraulic oil cooler or you can add the optional light tower. Just a view from the backside here, you can see the difference in those hydraulic oil tank sizes. And both of those tanks are made here in-house at the factory at Wolf Ridge. Now we can go over the control valves on both of these machines. Here's a 28 Pro. Very easy to use. You've got a lever for your hydraulic wedge height, you've got a lever for your log lift, and you've got a lever for splitting. The way that this works is when we hold on this, the pusher will go out. As soon as I let go of this valve, pusher will stop wherever it is and if I want it to go home I just hit there. Now the pusher will retract all the way back to the home position and kick back. So this does not have auto cycle as standard but it is important to note that you do have that auto return as standard. So this is still a pretty quick machine even with that 10 to 10 and a half second cycle time. Here's another look at the 28 Pro in standard configuration. See the valves and the pressure gauge and then this has that shorter push block on it. Now looking at the valves and controls for the 28C. Again, we've got log lift, we've got wedge height, and you can see things are oriented a little bit differently on this one. And then here we've got auto cycle. So what we'll do is we'll flip both of these forward. The pusher will go all the way to the end of its cycle, and then it'll kick back this one. And as soon as the pusher gets to the home position, it'll kick back the other one. That auto cycle coupled with the six to six and a half second cycle time, uh, the 28C you really need a second person to kind of keep you fed with rounds. Give you another look at the controls on the 28C. Both of these machines have a pressure gauge on them, which is very nice to have. And 28C again, you can see that tall push block Now I'm going to take a walk from these two that I'm comparing. Again, this is a 28 Pro in standard configuration, and that's a 28C in standard configuration. So if you look at our website and you look at the Wolf Ridge 28 Pro, the price is this machine. If you look at the 28C compact commercial, the price is that machine. Now there are options for both machines, and I want to show you guys on a 28 Pro what it looks like if you do order the auto cycle. You can see the valves are just like they are on the 28C. But this is a 28 Pro with the optional auto cycle. And this one also has the optional electric start so you can see the 12 volt battery sitting down there. And for comparison, there is an orange 28 Pro right there. 
and this is the sorting table extension. This sorting table extension can go onto any of our horizontal splitters. There's just two pins that hold it in underneath. So this would work on both of the machines that I've been talking about in this video. And it's handy to have, especially if you're resplitting a lot of stuff, you can push, you got a little bit of extra time before it falls off the splitter and it acts as a way, sort of like grizzly bars where debris will fall through uh, to the ground instead of going into your split firewood pile. I want to give you guys a close-up of the beam and the build and the welds on these splitters. Again, the 28C and the 28 Pro use the same frame. You can see we've got that additional support there. And both of these have that log lift, that folding log lift on them. Hydraulic powered. Lately, we've been getting a lot of questions about what's the difference between the 28 Pro and the 28C. So I wanted to take the time today to make this video and show you guys really a comparison and the difference between the two. I will put a spec list in the description of this video so you can see what features are standard with each machine as uh, in their standard configuration. So both of these machines could be put to work commercially. But I do want to stress the difference when you go from a 28 Pro to a 28C. It may seem like a big difference in price, but you're going up to the next level of machine. You're going from a nine horse to a 13 horse, 16 GPM pump to 22 GPM pump. You're going from a small hydraulic tank to a bigger hydraulic tank. You're going from the standard cylinder to the Magnum big bore cylinder with the tall push block. You're going from electric start as an option to electric start as standard equipment. You're going from uh, auto cycle as an option to auto cycle as standard equipment. So when you add all those things up, that few thousand to add on to the price of the splitter now uh, might be worth it in the long run for you. The 28 Pro can be ordered with auto cycle and it can be ordered with electric start. When you add those two options to the price, you're halfway there to getting the 28C, the rest of the features, where you'd get the Magnum Big Bore package, the taller push block, the bigger engine, and the bigger pump. So that's just something to think about when you're ordering your new machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions at all, please let us know in the comments section or give us a call, send us an email. You can check out our website to configure all machines. Uh, configuration options, prices, and lead times. Currently, as of April 2nd, lead times are about eight weeks on a compact commercial or a 28 Pro, so keep that in mind. We've got some shows coming up this year, so you could order and pick up at a show, save some freight. Again, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our content so you don't miss out on the next one.